guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Francine welcome I'm glad to have you today I'm gonna be bringing you another wig review and obviously you guys saw by the title I am reviewing another beautiful sensational butter lace and this is butter lace number five my last video I did a review of butter lace number eight Eight, yes, I will link it here in the card and I'll link it below in the description. But the Butter Lace series, if you are new to the wig game, I would definitely suggest the Butter Lace wig series because it is just the easiest to work with. I mean, if you want something that mimics a real scalp and don't have to pay an arm and a leg, this is your better option. Otre is also a good brand, but we're not talking about Otre today. I'm gonna to be doing an Otre review at some point in time, sooner rather than later. So yeah, this wig, I honestly just love the Butter Lace series. Um, and I think I'm gonna try out a few more, but this here week, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I applied it, all that stuff, and then I will come back. So stay to the end of the video so I can give you uh, basically my final remarks of the actual wig, my pros and my cons, and yeah, stay tuned. undetectable HD lace okay sensational has amazing lace but with this wig as you can see when I was doing the application or installation the lace does come off a bit gray or it came off a bit gray on me I generally go in with my foundation liquid foundation and then I go on top of it with my powder foundation to kind of just make sure that the lace more so mimics my scalp or my skin tone so this wig I believe I mean, I would rather be able to wear a wig. I like being able to have versatility with a wig and being able to wear it with or without makeup. And that is the beautiful thing about this particular wig. Um, you are able to wear it with or without makeup. Now I did, I generally do not apply my wig like a frontal kind of concept because it's, it's literally like a frontal the way that it's structured. It's like a frontal, so it's from ear to ear. The only thing I found, I'm generally 22, my head is 22 inches. And I find that this is not big head friendly per se because I can't really stretch the wig. So if you can see here, right? On this side, I was able to apply it, no problem. But here, some of my hair is left out of the side, which indicates to me that it's not, it's not that big and the straps are actually at, the straps are not even, they're at the, the last hook. Of course, this comes with three clips. 
So two at the side as per usual and one at the back. I never use clips. I usually just take them out because I find that they do more damage to your hair than good. So the claim, so it's safe up to 350 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 100% premium fiber. Don't really know why you wanna put heat on this. Maybe to like flatten down the top, I would probably do something like that. Wider parting space. The parting space is not too wide, but definitely do have a, a good enough parting space as far as from front to back. I like that. So this is the color T4 Golden Brown. I generally just go with black, but I love being able to try out different colors and I'm loving this color on me. So I love this ear to ear lace. Yes, it is ear to ear lace from here to here. But like I said, maybe I had cut off too much lace. That is why. But generally, I probably wouldn't even use the got to be spray. I most likely won't use this every day if I'm going to wear this wig. I don't even know if I can wear this in this summer heat that we're having. We're having a heat wave here in Toronto. I don't really know if I'll be able to wear this outside and be comfortable because I don't like to, I, I can't do heat anyways. Maybe for fall, maybe for winter, who knows? It's a lot of here. It's a lot of here. It comes in a lot of colors. So two, four, six, eight, nine, nine colors. A virtually undetectable lace. I would say that this, honestly, like Sensational, the Butter Lace series has probably one of the best laces on the market right now. Blends with most skin tones. Yes, I didn't really have a problem with that. It's five by five hand tie parting. So five inches here. Um, and then you have the, the, the frontal here. Pre-plug baby hairs. I personally do not like baby hairs. I kind of left some out here because I didn't have enough time to go in and pluck those out. I'll probably do that at another time. And the density, it says natural density. This is not natural density. This is a 200 density, if you ask me. I don't even want to play with the curls because I kind of feel like it might go out of control. I love the lioness kind of look. I don't mind this. I love big hair. I've always loved big hair, big, big curls. Let me just show you guys what it looks like at the back, at the side. So I'm 5'8". So, you know, this is probably like, what, 12 inches on me. This is the back. So it's a lot of hair. If you don't like a lot of hair, this won't work for you. But if you do like a lot of hair, I would say give it a try. It's a beautiful unit. It's a beautiful color. The lace is just immaculate. I went in again once I applied it with my foundation just to kind of blend it in. I'm happy with what I have right now. And I can guarantee if you were to try this out, you would also be happy. Sensational Butter Lace never disappoints. And I think I'm hooked. And yeah, I can't say anything bad about this except for the fact that it's a lot of hair. It can be a little bit overwhelming for some, uh, but if you do like big hair and you don't care, then this is for you. The actual lace itself, I just don't feel like the cap is big enough for someone who may have a bigger head and for it to fit from ear to ear and actually be able to glue it down and it be flushed. Cause like I showed you here, this is some of my hair sticking out here, right? And here it's fine. So. And you can also style it, you know, I've, I've seen people style it other ways. So if you don't want a middle part per se, and you want it to just like sweep it over, you have the option to do so. I think it's a very versatile wig. I love it. I love it. I have no complaints. I'll probably go in and cut these off. These hairs are a little bit too long at a later time, but overall, I think the wig is amazing. And yeah, I have no issues with this. Like I have nothing bad to say about butter lace. Like sensational, like I said in my last video, keep doing what you're doing. Do not change this, do not change it. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you do like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing some wig tutorials because I'm all about the wigging right now. So don't miss out on that, okay? So I hope you guys are staying safe and be blessed. Until next time, bye.